Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Coming live from Fire Up Your Heart, Children of God. Uh, it's a full moon, I believe, tonight. I might be off a day. It could be tomorrow. Uh, woke up to some pretty wild stuff, not only with the chickens, the turkeys. The dogs seemed more exhausted than normal, but somebody's, like, cutting down, I think, a pretty large area of habitat. <laughs> And I've seen some, uh, I don't know if it's young hawks, but so unfortunately I was reluctant. I didn't want to put the net up because of other wildlife, smaller birds, finches, things of that nature. But uh, I'm going to, I have to do it because um, they're getting loose more. And today the one was trying to do a suicide run along the deck, which we were shocked it didn't happen sooner of the pool because they want to get out. They want to. We didn't get the lane done. I'm not sure what we're doing, quite frankly. I think most of the time we're just trying to get through excessive physical, uh, f like, f pains. Um, they were burning John's feet up this morning, so then that makes it a bit difficult, you know. So even though he's getting, like, way more time off, do you hear the screeching? So this, some big, I don't know what's being cut down if it's just one tree. It sounds like a lot. So I just wanted to say I, I have to put the net up. I'm, I don't have the greatest feeling about it, uh, but I got to do something to keep the hens in to some degree, and then they're going to have to listen to me because today nobody's listening, and I literally I don't even know what I got done other than just keep having to re, re – um, they were really mean to the turkeys today. Yeah. Yeah, ladies, I'm talking about you. Uh-huh. Oh, back here behind your curtain. Are you getting ready for another performance? Like this morning? So the one there in the back, see, she's got, it's hard, it's, you can't tell on this camera, but more amber. She's got a lot more amber on her. Her, she was actually, to me, ran more mean, but we've been connecting better. And then their face, their changes are coming in really strong on their face. Got these fly catchers. It's really gross. Uh. It's like black fly haven around here. Um, these two are not doing good. I think maybe the hen got the one on the neck. I don't know if the head, something's haywire, or the hens were like hurting them. She's doing her little puff out. Oh, she just did her little dance. We'll see if they can hang in there. But so far, I got on livestock uh, market and talked to the lady. It looked like it was we could get this taken care of. But then I really just, it sounded like just weird messages. And um, I, I, I honestly think something blocked the the turkeys, you know, because we're willing to drive the turkeys at least two hours, even one way. Um, could get a little rough because it's getting, you guys, this is for where I'm from. Yes, yeah, so, uh, the southeast side of Michigan is always because it's more industrial when you go south of Detroit even. And then between we're kind of smashed between Toledo and Detroit, right? So you're looking only, you know, we're just in a big industrial belt. Uh, you guys, this is, I mean, I don't know what is going on with other places. I haven't looked up the weather around but I, this is already drought here. I haven't watched the news, but I'm seeing like what you'd call a weed. You know, I mean, there's usefulness to most all plants, but wilting. So like, for instance, I'm pouring the water out here. But we don't have the hose thing. We have to get a new hose attachment because it's too, it's too weak. Were you coming to get me back? Were you the one going in to be mean to the turkeys again? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what is going on with that. Like, why would you guys do that? So they've been looking for me more, and I think that that's also why they're getting out. Like, if we leave the house now, we're getting home, and they're like, hey, where are you? And they're like, way out. And so I got it. I got it. We got it. I keep saying, got it, got it. But John's feet were on fire. He said it felt like he, like, literally, like, the, it was on fire. We had to put ice all over his feet. He said it almost was out of nowhere. Uh, next thing he knew, he, his feet were just used full fire. So disturbing. So that's all I have for today. A yapper chapper getting everything out.
Um, so I got, I hope it's, I hope, I think it's the full moon. God, I hope it settles down after this because it's been really, this morning I never saw anything so crazy with the chickens. And the baby turkeys are just, they, like, they, they don't see me. Now it looks like they're overheated, possibly. I gotta, um, they're all stressed. All right, so I gotta get this nut up. I got it out, but I, I just, we were pretty concerned about it because it's, it seems so thin and, uh, just, I hope it goes well because we got to keep the ladies in. They got to be able to listen when we let them out to go do some more omen. And I added this one thing from through someone that I had kind of known for a while. Uh, the oyster shells. I don't know if that like gave them some kind of <laughs> some sort of a. Uh, super chicken energies or it's just the weather and i really want to go see what is being cut down all right have a good one bye